husband is in the house, and just because it's vegetarian doesn't mean it's good for you. So Rose Reisman breaks down the better vegetarian options when we're eating out. You got it, Jen. And you know, you can see a lot of very overweight vegetarians who are still eating potato chips and chocolate bars and thinking they're eating healthy. Yeah, you know what? So, I'm always surprised at that, actually. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so first of all, let's just show you a basic vegetarian diet is, is whole grains, you know, nuts, lentils or split peas, dark green vegetables, dried fruit, mm -hmm. tofu. Okay, this is what you do when you're not eating meat, fish, or chicken. But let's take a look at some of the restaurants that I'm going to take you through today to just show you the calories and fat and sodium you may be consuming. We want to know. All right, so let's take a trip first to Shoeless Joe's. Okay. So it looks pretty innocent. This is a pasta primavera with a little bit of garlic toast. So you just see vegetables and pasta. Uh -huh. This comes in at around 1,550 calories. No. With 98 grams of fat. Is that almost a whole day? Oh, yeah, just about. And actually, it's more than it's a day and a half for your fat. This is equivalent in terms and calories of three of their classic <gasps> burgers. So I want vegetarians to know that you may be doing this. It depends if you're doing it for animal reasons or weight reasons. You may as well have the burger if it's for weight because this is what you're doing to yourself. This is the same as that in terms of calories. Okay. But Good instead, you could have the Sonoma bread, a big mm -hmm. pizza like this that comes in at about half the calories, only about 790 calories, and 58 grams of fat versus the 98 grams of fat. And I would think it would be the other way around. Absolutely. I'm actually shocked at yeah. this one. All right. So let's okay. go over Subway. Yeah, everybody so loves Subway. Everybody loves Subway. So you want to be vegetarian there, you're going to have an egg salad. We're not talking about a vegan here. Okay. Here's the thing. Egg you know, we know eggs have some cholesterol, but you wouldn't imagine that this one here, the small one, has 460 calories, 23 grams of fat. May not sound that bad, but equivalent in turkey, seven turkey subs in terms of fat, the same as that. Ooh. Why? It's all the mayonnaise. They, I mean, when I opened that up, I hardly saw the egg. It's all. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of mayonnaise. mayonnaise okay. Yes. Sometimes, you know, they'll put cheese on. Instead, just get a veggie delight, uh -huh. which comes in at 280 calories versus a 460, six grams of fat. Voila. Instead of 23. Easy. Easy choice. Okay. All right. Now, we're at Jack Astor. So this, tofu stir fry basically fajitas mm -hmm. looks pretty innocent tofu it actually vegetables does look innocent to me so here's where i'm really going to blow your mind 1240 calories mm -hmm. so far so good 50 grams of fat but mm -hmm. wait 3340 milligrams of sodium two days worth of sodium equivalent to 12 fries from mcdonald's in terms of salt oh my goodness so you're eating something vegetarian you're feeling good and not that i'm telling you don't go and have 12 fries but keep in mind the sodium's a killer in restaurants but instead you could have their veggie burger that comes in at 726 calories half okay 42 grams of fat versus 50 and only 1600 vegetarians like this. Uh -huh. That's a nice serving size, 920 calories, 44 grams of fat, 2300 milligrams of sodium, equivalent to, you could get Michelina, you know, the little song, hey Michelina, all right, you could get six Michelinas uh -huh. in terms of fat for that same amount of mac and cheese. There Jen. you go, we have 30 right. seconds, so let's and get to the last one. Said, and said, all right, McCain's big dish pizza here, you're looking at 640 calories, 22 grams of fat. You could have 18 little mini bagels in terms of fat for that. Instead, go for the McCain's thin pizza coming in at half the calories and half the fat. Choose it and lose it with Rose Reisman. Follow her on Twitter at Rose Reisman. Thank you. Thank you, Jen, and be careful of being a vegetarian. And we will. Thank you so much. Taking a break. We'll see you with more BT.